It's the Zach Sang Zach Sang Show. Show. Zach Sang Show. Hi guys. Oh, oh whoa. How are you? How are you? It's good oh, to see you. Good to see you. How How's it you? going? Phenomenal. Hi, How are you? Heather. This is Heather. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm You're Keith. Here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. We welcome Haley Steinfeld to the Woo! studio. Yeah, Everybody. girl. Yes. Woo! Hold on. Let me get you set up over there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, get, there all, we go. get all up in there. Hey. Dude, <laughs> I, so I've met you once real quickly backstage at a Grammy thing. Yes. And that was it, but I, I am a huge fan of yours. Thank you so much. I, I thank you for coming in. Seriously. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, of course. An honor to have you here. We have a new single out right now, Starving. Yes. It's Haley Steinfeld, Zed, and Greg. Hey, come on. It's, I mean. How you feeling about it? I'm so stoked. I have been wanting to collaborate with Zed for the longest time, and, and you know, I never thought it would be so soon. I really could have yeah. only hoped. So it's really amazing that it's kind of, it's all come together, and Gray is amazing, and I'm really, really stoked about the song. And I've heard amazing things about Zed and working with him. What was it like? I mean, what was that process like with the song? Did he give you something that was already done, or did you go into the studio and create from scratch? How was it? So he sent me a message saying I have this track it's amazing you have to hear it and he he wanted to play it for me wouldn't send it and I was like I totally respect that because I am so that friend that's like yeah. I make you sit in my car and listen like I that's lock the doors and turn it all the way up <laughs> Yeah. Um. so I was like absolutely I'll get there as soon as I can and I actually happened to be uh, within walking distance from the studio that he was at I was at a photo shoot and wow. I said I'm done at this time can I come by he's like absolutely I went by as soon as I could I listened to this thing it was blaring it sounded amazing it was awesome and within 24 hours he introduced me to Gray I cut the record and wow yeah it's those moments that you kind of know right like when you're listening to a song for you how do you know it's a track for you what do you look for like what filter do you run it through you know it's funny because I I, I guess I don't necessarily look for something specific or one thing or you know I, I guess it's when you know you know it's when yeah. you feel it when you can see yourself performing it when you can see yourself singing it or you can relate to it whatever it is and there's something about this song that you know is so sort of it, it's sonically very different than what I've put out yeah. and lyrically it's 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 a step up so it's it's really exciting and you're on tour right now the Untouchable Tour. The Untouchable Tour. With the beautiful, possibly one of my favorite human beings on the face of this planet, Megan Trainer. Word. My, me too. I love her. She is amazing. This tour has been awesome. It's my first tour. So Congrats. Thank you. Uh, not a bad not a bad first tour. That's a pretty sweet <laughs> first tour, dude. Um, it's she, Megan is amazing. She honestly is like one of the most genuine people yeah. I've, I've met, and she puts out the best vibe. She's got an amazing team, an amazing show. She's just a human being. She, yeah. It's exactly. cool. She's yeah. just a human. Yeah. No, but like, I mean, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, like, she's just a human. Like, it's cool. Cool. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. And what is it like for you? I mean, incredible crowds. You perform Vegas, San Jose. You opened in Boise. Yes. Tomorrow we're doing the Greek. Oh, Come on. <laughs> so crazy. It's it's insane. It's been amazing. I mean, it's so awesome to have that opportunity to travel and meet new people in, every, in all these different cities. I, again, I guess the one sort of taste... I went on the Jingle Ball tour last December, yeah. and that was kind of a taste of like what it's like being on tour. Um, but this is like the real deal, and it's amazing to yeah. have that consistency of like, you know, you get on the tour bus, you wake up in a new city, you go, you play the show, and you know, you do it all over again. It's pretty cool. And it's a real set list now, you know? Yes. It, it, this is you. It's your exactly. stage show. Exactly. Which is also quite terrifying. <laughs> um, but it's awesome. It's so great, again, to have that time and, and know that like you have the 30 seconds to stare out into the audience yeah. and think this is absolutely insane how could this be real and not feel like it's rushed or it's you know oh my god the, the clock's ticking or whatever exactly. it's like you got this you got time and I'm so thankful to Megan for, for giving me that very cool yeah dude okay like you're to, you're looking at a few like serious fans here musically obviously but we've had a lot of cool people come into the studio but I'm pretty sure that this is the first time we've ever had an Oscar nominee Ooh! in the studio <laughs> hell yeah I mean that is Unbelievable. Thank you. Is there pressure here? I mean, let's be real. You're an Oscar nominee. <laughs> you don't need to make music, sister. Hey. <laughs> you, might be, you could do you could do movies right. for a very long time and you are. <laughs> Thank you. What was it? What sparked in you that said, you know what? Music is it for a little bit. Well, I you know, the the idea of entertaining and and performing is what 
has always been of interest to me since yeah. I was little. And that was the initial thing, what, whether it meant in movies or commercials or TV shows or short films or if it was on a stage singing music, whatever it was, was it through an instrument, whatever. Um, when I was when I was six, seven, eight, that's what it was. I just wanted to, to perform and yeah. entertain. And I started acting and singing around the same time. Um, I was doing student short films and I was recording covers in studios that I could get that you know feel of being behind a microphone wow. um and the acting obviously kind of happened first and and the music became more of a side project and you know through the years i i had always hoped and and wished that it would happen sort of through a movie and it did with pitch perfect 2 it was a game changer which was, which was perfect yeah. Th- those were probably the two most defining movies in your career so far right true grit obviously because you become an oscar nominee mm-hmm. for best supporting actress mm-hmm. and then pitch perfect 2 which yes. You sing in the movie and it lands you a deal with Republic Records. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's so crazy. Wow. Yes. As you look back at both of them, what do you want to be known for right now? Do you want to be known as a pop star or an Oscar nominee? Oh, man. Because, right? Both hold some serious weight. <laughs> I mean, again, I think I want to be known as, as a great entertainer. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. And when you're doing, when you're going into your stage show and you're, you're, do you direct your stage show? Do you give people notes? Do you have a band? I have dancers. Okay, cool. Um, I've done shows with, with, with my band and they're amazing too. And it's so awesome we're working with a live band. I mean, yeah. there's nothing like it. Um, but for this, uh, I felt bringing my, my girls on the stage with me to get everybody pumped up for Megan was the right the yeah. way to go. Is there like crossover knowledge? Like have you learned things on sets or working on True Grit or Pitch Perfect that you see yourself utilizing while like crafting your music career? Yeah, I mean I, I guess all the time really but but in ways that I don't necessarily notice until yeah. I'm either in it or if I if I go back to a movie and I'm like, wow, this, you know, it all comes full circle. But um, I think that just being – you know, lucky enough to have worked with some very incredible professional people. I've yeah. I've taken a lot from them, and um, I think that you know, there's a level of respect that I've learned from fellow actors that I've worked with that you know crosses yeah. over and in, into the music. And it's amazing having that sort of you know, in a movie, you're you're an absolute team. You're nothing without a great director or a great script or or a great cast yeah. supporting you. And and as an artist, I feel the same way. Um, I I you know. Oh, everything to everyone around me. I mean, you have an amazing team over at Republic Records. I do. I remember when they first <laughs> signed you and how big of a deal it was and how exciting it was. Oh, my gosh. It was very surreal. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible. Thank you. Well, do we have an album? A lot of people want to hear more from you. I know. Right? I know. People said that in Hayes, they couldn't get your entire story. They want more of you a little bit. Well, that is absolutely on its way. Um, I obviously am I'm with Megan for the summer on yeah. the Untouchable Tour. So when I finish that, I will be back in the studio finishing what cool. I've started. I started. What do you think of all this? Like, Right? Like, What do you think of the music industry? What do you think of the scene? You know, it's it's... Pretty crazy because again, as a as a huge fan of music and, and artists, I feel like I've followed people and and I you know I feel like you know being on the outside of it, you feel like you kind of know it and you got it down and you yeah. get sort of you know you you, you get it right. Um, but being in it, there's there's so much more to it. And again, there's so many people involved. There's so much happening constantly. Yeah. So many decisions are being made by the minute. Like it's it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's amazing having again gone from being on the complete. Outside of it and now being now you're right in the middle of it. Yeah, (laughs) different than the movie industry, different when it comes to fans, right? Yes. Yeah, more hands on. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Very different. Is it? I I don't want to like. I don't want this to be a weird question, right? But it's when you're an actress, you're obviously playing a different role. But in this, you're playing yourself. Yeah, absolutely. But but you're play. I mean. But you're all you're playing yourself as a role almost, right? You, in sure. a certain sense. Yeah, I guess. It, I mean, it, it's different because again, like you said, I mean, when you when you make a movie, if somebody's a fan of that movie, they're a fan of what you did and yeah. that performance that you gave, and that necess- that wasn't necessarily you. I mean, yeah. you're protected by a character, and you're playing another role. And and yes, you can identify with it, and there's so much of that character that is yourself, but it's not you. And as an artist, it is. Y- me and it's my story and they're my words and it's 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 a different sense. I mean, yeah. I've felt this way about certain artists I've never met before. It's like you know their story and you know who they are and it's 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 a different it's a different world for sure. You're playing yourself. But yeah. a hyped up version, more open version. Yeah. Hard to be open? Um I guess sometimes, but at the end of the day I've realized that, you know, having gone from 
being in the studio and and becoming more and more involved in in the writing processes and and you know in the sort of upbringing of all of these songs yeah um i guess you i, I guess i've learned that that being open is is kind of you know it's it's easier to embrace it and and know that it's accepted having felt certain ways knowing that millions of other people have felt that same thing in certain situations and again like you know we'll go through certain situations where we feel extremely vulnerable and we're like this is the end of the world I'm the only person that's ever ever felt this way and then you choose to talk about it and you realize that you're not yeah and that's a moment I've had every night on this tour when I sing some of my songs and I realize that these other people like whether or not they've heard the song or not you know I can feel that like I'm not the only one in the room that's that's gone through that certain situation so so it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's 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 not easy to be open, but it, it is nice to express yourself. I just got goosebumps. No. Because that's the amazing thing about music. Yeah. Right? And it, it is art. And it's, you know, it's your words. And it, it, no matter how, no matter who's listening to it, it can relate to them in some sort of way. Some sort of way. Whether it's the exact same way that you felt when right. you wrote it. Right. Or it's their own, you know, the, their own way of adapting to it. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. It really is. It is. Sure. Do you want to win an Oscar now? <laughs> right? Like, you, you get nominated. Obviously, you, you, you sadly didn't win. Right. But, like, it was very close. <laughs> it was literally a few hundred feet away from you. I mean. Come on. I could see the, the sparkle of the gold. That's it. It was there. It was, it was yes. Is there? A, I mean, you were 13, right? So mm. it was a little bit ago, six years. Is there a part of you that wants it, though? I mean, you know, I will say that, yes, it's like it's a it's a it's an a very long term goal of mine, but yeah. having made that movie at thirteen years old, I didn't know that the Oscars were anything past that red carpet, and I didn't necessarily understand sort of what an honor it was yeah. to to be nominated or win. And I, I obviously <laughs> realized it really quickly when it happened, <laughs> but before then, I really didn't. I really had no yeah, idea. No. And you know, it just goes to show that you know, especially the actors that I worked with in that movie, it wasn't like they were there. To get an to, to get no. a nomination, they weren't there to do anything other than their job and and be there and and yeah. express something that they were passionate about. And you know, obviously, again, it's like it's never something that occurs to me while I'm in the process of, yeah. of anything. But you know, if it's it, being talked about, then you're aware of it. Of but. course, but it also can't, right? Because you don't want that to cloud your your process or your art. And if you have different motives when studying a role or picking a script. Right. It could really – it could be different. No, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, again, long-term goal, but it's definitely not something that's like – Right there. Yeah. But I mean, Edge of 17, dude, I, the, you're, I just watched a trailer and you can tell Heather and Dan, like we watched it together. <laughs> I was laughing out loud. Really? I'm really excited to see it. Good. You were phenomenal. In Thank it. you. I mean, the trailer. I'm assuming that the movie's going to be amazing. Well – if the if the trailer's any indication, <laughs> no, I, I trust the trailer. Good, I, I will judge a whole movie based on the trailer. It was the Red it. Band trailer too, so it was, oh, okay, yeah. yeah, there we go. It was good, yeah. really, really good. Thank you. Part of you want a Grammy too? <laughs> all the awards, I want oh, all the God, awards, everything. Yeah, but it's very <laughs> rare that somebody like you can have a real, honest conversation with one human being and say, okay, an Oscar was, you know. Could have been yours, and <laughs> right. you know what? A Grammy at the record label you're at, at the rate you're going, could also be in the cards. I you mean, know? Yeah. Again, it's 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 an extreme honor, and to be recognized in any form yeah. for for the work that you do or something that you love is 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 an honor. So whether that come in, you know, small. Forms and small little trophies. That's fine. If it's a Grammy, great. <laughs> you'll, you'll take anything. Right. <laughs> Validation, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Even if it's somebody saying your music's awesome. That's all. I'll, I will take it. But that feeling on stage <laughs> is validating, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Absolutely. Again, it's like whether or not, you know, you feel that these people know your songs or not. It's like if you're able to connect with them, which I really feel like I've been able to do, especially on this tour, having, yeah. you know, given the opportunity to have that consistency of being in a different city every other day, um, it's really, it's really validating and, and it's nice. Yeah. What's the part about this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'm living on a tour bus, yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty beautiful. I will say, like, it's very nice and it's it's wonderful. But um, it's the nicest of tour buses. <laughs> it's yeah, no, it's it's really. I have no complaints. It's just you know. Still a bus. I wouldn't mind if there was like a, an announcement made every time we were going to take a turn so that I could prepare and not hit my head or like close my fingers and doors every time. Like oh my it happens. gosh. It happens. That, that's your first tour injury. That's my first tour injury. Battle wounds. Yes, I was I was trying to get a shirt out of, out of, a, out of a door closet thing. 
And uh, yeah, the bus moved. Door slammed. Hurt the finger. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Do you have a nail? Is like the nail still there? Uh, yes, it is. It is, okay. but it doesn't look very pretty. So uh, covered it up with it's a, okay. Yeah. You know, be, now you're you know you're a real rugged artist. You know, you've been you know on the what road. I mean? I've been on the road. Life on the road. That's man. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What else? Anything else besides tour life? That's it. I mean, you. you That's you, it. You're cool. <laughs> I mean, it's not. You, you you're cool with a, you're cool with sharing about your life. You're cool with the fans. Oh yeah, everything. Yeah, no. In fact, again on this tour, I've had the opportunity to, to meet fans in every city, and and it's amazing to see them like rocking the merch and like yeah. coming in with posters. Like it's crazy. It's so amazing that I've been doing this for just, I mean, a year, and and I feel like I've come so far with them. It's awesome. But you've had some really cool friends and some cool sets of ears to listen. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, <laughs> to listen to your music as like a gauge, yeah. you know? Are you playing stuff for Taylor? Like are Starving when you when this track is in your possession and you want to gauge reaction off of it, who are you playing it for? Well, I will say that having Zed on board was a very I am a huge fan of him and I value yeah. his his opinion and and I think he knows he knows he really is so intelligent and working with him and and he's such a perfectionist as well. So I really was like any any thoughts or any ideas or anything I had, I went straight to him and having that direct. Um, line of communication and yeah. relationship with the person that you're collaborating with is so important because I've I've had situations before, you know, where it's not that way and it's yeah. amazing to really know that this is a collaboration. We're in this together and this is happening and and you know, he he was he was really who I who see, I went to. See, that's special, right? right? And to have someone like him to work with. I mean, you can learn a lot from just one session. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, For being sure. a fly on the wall just in his studio. Totally. Who who have you learned the most from when it comes to music throughout this journey? Who has kind of guided you? Oh my gosh. I mean, I've worked with some incredible producers, Matt Man and Robin. I worked with on my whole yeah. EP and working with them and seeing how they sort of, you know, as a duo bounce off each other. And, you know, one does one thing, one does the other. They're constantly looking out for each other. They never miss a beat. Um, again, there's just this sense of like teamwork and, and this work ethic that they have. Um, Max Martin, I've had the honor of meeting and he oh, came in an icon. to a session. Yeah. Which was like mental. And that was yeah. like, I don't even want to say anything. I just <laughs> want to watch. Yeah. Like, um, just, you know, I've, again, I've had incredible opportunities where I've, where I've been introduced to some amazing people and have had the opportunity to watch them work. Very cool. Very, very cool. Do you intend on making your lyrics so sexual? I mean, love your love myself has become like a masturbation anthem and then starving. <laughs> it says, I didn't know I was starving because I tasted you. Mm -hmm. I intentionally do all of that. You do. <laughs> It's all, yes. it's all intentional. It's all intentional. I mean, I, you, who not, you could have like this, you know, you don't look like that kind of girl. I don't know. I don't know. Um, no, I, um, you know, I guess like anything, music is an art form and yeah. it can be interpreted as you wish. Yeah. Um, with Love Myself, I heard that song for the first time and I, I instantly thought this is such a self-empowerment anthem. And not only do I feel like so many people need this in their lives i needed it in mine and and i needed that sort of reassurance of knowing that you know it's not necessarily easy to love yourself but if you do you know it doesn't matter yeah. what anybody else has to say or do and having that me song be my first single and my introduction to sort of the music world it was a step into new territory for me and it was a great reminder going into this new world that this is all i have to do in order to you know Keep this going. And Beautiful. Love myself, so, and I agree. You know, I didn't think the song was a jerk off song until people started saying it a few a few weeks later. Well, I love, yeah, I loved it. One person. No, first of all, I can sing every lyric to the song. It's a great song. It's an amazing song. Yeah. I, I felt the exact same way that you felt when listening to great. it. Great so masturbation glad. song or not, good song. Yeah, no, exactly, a good really, song is a good song. Are you sick of the word squad? Hmm. You, no. Cool. No. Me either. I use it all the time. <laughs> but you help change the definition of squad forever. So, like, I got it. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you, you changed the society's definition of it. And I got to ask, like, let me be that guy. Taylor or Kanye? There's a lot going on. Hey, now. What, what are you thinking? I have to honestly, honest, honest. Hit me. Um, honestly say. I, being on the road, have been so off on all of this social media business that I do not know yeah. what is going on, so I cannot form an opinion. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I'm so off that I'm like not even on this Pokemon train. I, oh, <laughs> like gosh. I'm like that far off. You got to get on Pokemon. I go. know, man. I know. I'm I'm telling you, especially you, being on tour. You know how many Pokemon you, you can that's, catch. That's, that's all I've that's, been hearing. I know. Yeah. I know. You're yeah. traveling everywhere. I know. Oh, we, we got before you leave. You need to download Pokemon Go. Okay. And I saw that you, you're the, the the merch you're selling, the poppets on the back of the phone. Yeah, pop sockets. I, those things look so cool. Thanks, Monsi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> Check it out. Wow. Thanks, I know. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Is that like a little Miranda Sings I hear in you? Like when you're like, you're doing, like, what was that? Do you know who Miranda Sings is? No, I have no idea who that is. I've never heard of her. No. Are you lying? I'm just kidding. It's all I do ever. <laughs> <laughs> I believed you for a second. <laughs> no. Now I know why you're nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> no. I, I love, I'm obsessed. Oh. And it, on, it's it's gotten to it. It's like not good. I, I t- yeah. Does, not. Does, do you know Colleen? Have you met her? Yes. She's, I, first of all, the most beautiful person. Oh my God, right? Like, yeah. I yeah. fangirled. I fangirled. And it was, I met Colleen and, and not Miranda, right? Because it, like, is that does that work that way? Like, yeah. I was like, oh my god, and she's like, hi, it's really nice to meet you. I'm like, no, stop it. Don't like this. I love oh. her. Any other YouTubers you like? Um, oh I, man, I, I could watch Miranda sings videos for hours, 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 hours. And it's, I'm telling you, it's gotten to a level where it's like, this is how I talk to my friends. It's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. I've heard it twice in the interview. <laughs> And I didn't know the first time. I thought maybe like you had a thing, you know. No, no. I, do I didn't want to bring it up. It was nice. <laughs> What's it like working with DNCE? Because they're fun and different. Oh my god, they are like a walking party. They are so much fun. Best um, way to describe it, right? I mean, the amount of like surprises on on, <laughs> on like minute by minute. minute Cole minute is basis. a trip. That guy. Yeah. I love him. Oh, yeah. I love all of them. Working with them was amazing, especially on Rock Bottom was one of my favorite tracks on the I EP. I love that song. Thank you so much. Um, it was so interesting. I, again, when I – that song from the very start felt very conversational and so visual, and, and having Joe's vocals on it made it that much more yeah. conversational and, and, and visual. Um, and again, working with them, they added an element that nobody else could have. They're, they're amazing. Beautiful. Any other questions for Haley? Well, in the song, you're such a... Is the missing word dick? What? Which, I really I really appreciate how straightforward you are. <laughs> I'm really, I really sorry. You, you say everything with such a straight face, and it's really... I really appreciate well, it. Well, I just have these questions. I'm not going to like beat around the bush. It's you're such a da-da-da, or it starts with a D. I'm like, it's got to be dick. Well, it could be. If that's a, if you, you it, know. Could, it could be dollar. It, it could, could be, be dollar. Dandelion. It could be dandelion. It could be Dylan. Could be Dylan. It could, could also be what I said originally. It, but it very could well not. could be. It's, it's up to your imagination. It's exactly. Any well, other I had, an, I had an imagination. Want... I was looking for confirmation, but and, I'll just let it sit there then. Okay. Any, <laughs> <laughs> any other questions? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Wow. Haley Seinfeld, you're amazing, dude. I'm so excited to watch you at the Greek tomorrow night. Yeah. Thank you. It's Actually, gonna be I, awesome. I, I do. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 this is the night thing. Like growing up in Los Angeles, is it like weird being in this like entertainment? When people come from all over, and you're like, I've grown up here. Yeah, I guess it is a little weird. It's definitely weird when you meet people too, and they're like, Yeah, I'm from LA, and you're like, No, really, where are you from? Because yeah. I am from LA. You know what I mean? Um, very few are born and raised. Very few, very few. But I guess it's it's weird when people like actually don't believe me yeah. for a while, and I guess. It had to do with True Grit. People thought I was from Texas, and they swore I had an accent. It was so weird. For the longest time, people thought I was I was from Texas. Why do I feel like I heard that once? Like, I feel like somebody oh, told me I that you were- going to say you heard the accent. I was like, oh. I'm not from Texas. <laughs> no, I feel like somebody told me you were from Texas. No, it was a thing for a minute. People really believed it. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, born and raised in L.A. So I think the weird part comes from when people are like, where are you from? L.A. What were you f- Well, like, originally- L.A. Born here, dude. Born here. Same with my mom. Born and raised. You started acting when you were eight, but True Grit, I mean, you did a, a ton of, like, indie films, right? You, like, went crazy before True Get, Grit. You, you I, gained experience. A little, very little, actually. I did, um, like, student thesis graduate films. I did, wow. um, like, two guest starring roles on sitcoms <laughs> and a couple commercials in a Coen Brothers movie. Wow. And then <laughs> f- 15,000 wow. kids wow. auditioned for that part. They did do a worldwide search. In fact, the way I heard about it was my, this is weird. So my mom's cousin okay. has a daughter who's a couple years younger than me. And she heard like on the news or on a radio station somewhere that they the Coen brothers were doing like this nationwide casting call, whatever. Uh-huh. And she called my mom and said, you know, Haley's in the right age range. Um, her daughter seemed to have been too young at the time or whatever. 
And um, that's how we heard about it. Then we called my agent and wow. we, we got on it. So it was like a worldwide, nationwide thing that, that they were doing. But what fate is that? You I know mean, what I mean? Like, come on. It's Everything crazy. Everything aligned perfectly I to know. change your life forever. I know. It's crazy. Unreal. Pitch Perfect 3. When is it coming out? Do we know? Um, You're going to be back though, right? Yes. Cool. Yes. I don't know anything other than that. You're in it. <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> I'm, Have you shot it yet? No. No. How is that? You like shooting with everybody? Oh yeah! Come on! It's it's that's I mean, again, I've been very lucky to work on movies that it never ever feels like you're working. Yeah, but that is definitely one where you're like, I get to come to work every day and like sing and dance and like jump in mud, this, <laughs> water, this is and my slide reality. down big slides and stuff. You know, it's great. Haley Seinfeld, <laughs> you're amazing. Thank you. I'm so excited to watch you at the Greek tomorrow night. You got to check her out on the Untouchable tour. And uh, yeah, starving, Zedig Gray, check Woo! it out. Sorry. I'm getting over a cold. From oh my like god, last no! Week. It's fine. Don't give it to me. No, don't. Worry. It's. It, I already got those two sick last week. Okay. Uh, I'm not contagious anymore. Okay, good. I promise. <laughs> Haley Seinfeld, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh my god, so excited. Where do I do it? Where right over want? Zach Sang yeah. and the gang. <laughs> where, wherever you feel the mo- there's wherever you feel the most comfortable. I'm gonna go right here, cause I'm part of the gang, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Wow. Thanks. 